lecture students. Uh, today's lecture is uh, naming organic molecules. So, did you guys all eat turkey sandwiches for breakfast? Because it looks like you're tired from the tryptophan. Because I lectured on that. To name an organic molecule, you want 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 Welcome to Organo Purgatory. Oh, this gotta be a joke. No way, am I? Nope. You have to answer four questions before I'll let you leave. But make it quick, because the bar's closing. Nomenclature. The first thing to do in naming an organic molecule is to count a carbon chain, numbering it such that you create the molecule with the most substituent groups. Here's your first question. Circle the longest carbon chain in this molecule. The next part of nomenclature involves numbering the carbons from one end to the other. You always number the carbons to get the lowest numbers possible to substituents, double bonds, triple bonds, and alcohols. Alcohols and triple bonds have priority over double bonds, and double bonds have a higher priority than substituents. Also remember to change your base suffix. In for double bonds, I for triple bonds, and all for alcohols. Why don't you try numbering this molecule? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's correct. Anyway, where's my shamwell? Where's my shamwell? Ugh, damn it. Always taking my shamwell. The next part is naming alkyl groups and other substituents. Alkyl groups are just named based on how many carbons they include, methyl, ethyl, etc., and the number of the carbon in the chain that they are attached to. Other common substituents are halogens, and they have names like bromo, chloro, iodo, etc. In general, list the substituent that comes alphabetically first. And now it's time for our fourth and final question. Anyway, when several of the same substituent group are present, you use prefixes such as di, tri, tetra, etc. in front of the name of the substituent. That was your fourth and final question. You have escaped from Organo Purgatory. <laughs> Dude, I just had the weirdest dream. Hmm? I was in Organa Purgatory. Okay. <laughs> I almost died in there. Uh, tomorrow, class will be learning about enantiomers, so... Ah, oh, okay. I guess, uh, it was that bad. Okay.